Hey, what's going on there? Hey, I got a question for you. Did you know that the United States tortured and killed Christians? Just Google the Hofer Brothers. H-O-F-E-R. Hofer Brothers. The Hofer Brothers. Like uh, a lot of Hooderites have the last name Hofer. And they were Hooderites also uh, during the time of World War One. They were brutally tortured and martyred in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, um, because they refused, they wanted to obey the Sermon on the Mount and obey the teachings of Jesus. And um, so they were, obey their conscience. They were, they were killed as a result of that. The Joseph and Michael Hofer, they were tortured to death. Um, many Anabaptists that refused to buy war bonds were harassed and persecuted in the United States, even if they were allowed to not serve in the military, they were still expected to buy war bonds. Many of them did buy war bonds so that they wouldn't have to face persecution um, in place of going to fight in World War I. The ones who didn't buy war bonds and that did not participate in the war effort in any way were imprisoned, tortured, and even if the government themselves didn't do things, their neighbors did, um, the people in their towns, um, some of their houses were ransacked, taken. The government would sometimes take their properties, take their children. Uh, this was going on a lot more than a lot of people realize. So when I hear a lot of Christians talking about this persecution that's coming from Muslims or from Russia or China or North Korea, I would say that most of the persecution over the past 2,000 years of Christian history has come at the hands of people who call themselves Christians. It doesn't come as a result of uh, these Muslim hordes or, uh, you know, savage natives or uh, Russian communists, Chinese and North Koreans and stuff. No, I don't believe that communists are who you need to be afraid of or um, people who call themselves Christians are normally the ones the largest percentage of Christians who have died over the past 2,000 years have died at the hands of people who call themselves Christians. So if you're all up in arms worried about persecution, that's the first place I would look. People who call themselves Christians. Every single sitting U.S. president since the beginning, since George Washington, there's only been two that did not call themselves Christians that I know of, Abraham Lincoln and one other one, maybe Thomas Jefferson. I forget, but I know Abraham Lincoln was one. There's only two who did not say that they were Christians. <laughs> so these guys have partaken in the slaughter of tons of people, men, women, and children, um, for instance, in the Nagasaki and Hiroshima bombings there in Japan, um, they wiped out the largest group of Christians in Japan. The empire the, of, uh, in Japan could not wipe out these Christians. They tried. They stayed steadfast. They built a giant Christian community in Japan, and they were wiped out by the United States by a crew of airmen all claiming to be Christians. And one single day, they wiped out thousands of Christians while they were at church, while they were at a church service. So just something to think about. There's a lot of propaganda out there. Voice, the voice of Mar the voice of the martyrs magazine talks a lot about Christian of uh, uh, communists and Muslims and things like that. Uh, 
I say that if you're looking for persecution, which I wouldn't be looking for it's time to show the signs of the end of the world or looking for persecution happening. It, if it happens, it happens. All right, just you live your life, obey the teachings of Jesus, obey your conscience, read your scripture. You know, you got your Hebrew Bible, you know, right here. You got your Hebrew Bible, a nice little art scroll to knock. You got your, your, uh, your Christian, uh, what they call the New Testament. Uh, this is the Septuagint for the Old Testament. They, what they call, I call it the Hebrew Bible. I don't believe in the old New Testament language. But, you know, you obey your conscience. You obey the teachings of Jesus. And you're going to get in the way of the capitalist, the consumerist way of doing things at the United States. Like the number one most important thing to the United States and their allies is making money and continuing this machine of controlling nature, controlling humans to create more capital. And more and more, it's like a never ending to cycle of destruction. They destroy nature. They try to control nature, whether it be animals, plants, resources, humans, and they try to create capital. Even art, anything that that, that is beautiful and that God gave us, the people are trying to to make money off of. If you, as a follower of Jesus, or anybody. If you get in the way of that system, they will wipe you out. They don't care if you're a Christian. They don't care if you're who you are or what your beliefs are. Gene Donovan, Oscar Romero. Um, yeah. There's tons of examples. Fred Hampton, you know, he, he wasn't out there murdering cops and things like that. He was, I believe, 20 years old. And he had a, he was literally serving children breakfast, you know, he wasn't like some ruthless cop killer. He didn't like the, all the violence and stuff. He was willing to use violence much more than I would be. I'm not willing to use violence at all, even in the face of violence. But Fred Hampton wasn't killed because he was using violence. He was killed because he had united the white churches and uh, united all sorts of different segments of society behind a cause, which was problematic to people like J. Edgar Hoover and the powers that be. Uh, they had to get rid of him, you know. But my, my point is, is that you, if you get in the way of this capitalist system, they will wipe you out. Okay. Shalom Aleikum. Peace be upon you. Don't have any fear. You know, obey your conscience. God bless you.